this tutorial, I want to talk about body movement in spay casts. This is the bit that takes you from intermediate to advanced, really advanced, just the same with the overhead cast. It creates much more line speed. It removes slack from the line. And quite frankly, it looks nicer. <laughs> with spay casting, we face the direction and then we turn to the dangle. So now we can see the lift. We need to look at the lift to see that contact point. And then we unwind the hips and snap. And now I'm looking at you. I come around the spiral staircase and now I'm looking at the anchor. I've moved my hips upstream so I can see. So I've moved from that position to there, to there. And you will be surprised how few people do that. They tend to just stay in one position and do that. Movement enables us to see and hear the building blocks, the waypoints of the cast, number one. But it does something else as well. If I, for instance, use a circle spay, you see the way I've turned my hips, my feet are pointing towards you, the camera, but I've turned my hips into the bank because I want my rod tip to come all the way in. And then I'm going to unlock my hips unwind them and unlock all that energy. I'm not moving my arms, but just my hips, but look at that. Look how much energy there is there. And it's a smooth type of energy. Let me show you. Twist in, unwind. And you get a really clean anchor and a really clean delivery. And it's because I'm casting with my hips. If I just use my fingers and my wrists, there's a lot more that can go wrong. Squiggles in line, splashes. There's more room for error. Body movement in spade casting. We use it to load up, unload, and deliver. Try it.